Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying Mama Cozy's Pizza Kitchen. This is a pepperoni pizza ring. Uh, this is artisan crust stuffed with pepperoni cheese and pizza sauce made with premium meat. This was $4.99 at Aldi. Mama Cozy's is an Aldi brand. Um, so what you wanna do, you can microwave this if you want to. We are going to bake it in the oven because we want it to get crispy. I would think this would be very doughy and soft if you didn't put it in the oven so you can do that if you want um we have, are preheating our oven right now to 375 so you uh, preheat the oven to 375 remove pizza ring um from film and wrap in and you're supposed to wrap it in foil place on baking pan and heat for 35 to 40 minutes so, so this doesn't come with a dipping sauce or anything like that i just realized that right it's just the um pepperoni pizza rings so let's see okay so this is what it looks like so they want you to wrap it in foil so what i've done is i have my foil here this is how i'm going to do it. it's going to make some noise that ought to be good enough okay yeah, the light really bad i gotta back okay. up okay so i'm going to open this so this is how it looks. And so what I'm gonna do is fold this over and then kind of tuck it like this. Just like this. And so now I'm gonna put it in the oven for 40 minutes and when that time's up, we'll be back. Okay, it was in the oven for 40 minutes. I haven't peeked at it at all. Have no idea what it's gonna, uh... oh, okay. So it looks it's... exactly the same as it went in. <laughs> yeah, but it is it's warm. It's not, you know what? I'm touching it with my bare hands. I thought I would have to use the spatula to, to move it over and I didn't. Uh, let's look at it. I'm gonna just use a knife here. I'm just gonna give it a good cut so we can see how it looks. Okay, so there's your pepperoni. It looks really, really good. So now Kevin and I will take it over to the table and give it a try. Okay, it says, Mama Cozy's brings the best pizzeria flavors to your kitchen. Our family of Italian style specialties includes everything from family favorite pizzas to inspired new products. We create each of our recipes using artisan doughs signature sauces, handfuls of real cheese, and generous portions of your favorite premium pizza toppings. There's a Mama Cozy's product to satisfy every taste. Take one home tonight and enjoy the fresh baked flavor. Um, it's three servings, uh, so not a lot, not many servings. Our, uh, a third of the ring is 390 calories. So, Sounds good. For your lunchtime review channel, have you haven't you review, reviewed like a Mama Cozy's calzone I could, I could or something? Say, I'm I've thinking, tried some calzones, but I don't remember what brand they were. I'm thinking for his lunchtime review channel, he might have tried Mama Cozy's, and like I've said earlier, that is an Aldi brand. Is this what you cut for us oh, to sure. try? So. When I bought this, I like the flavor. I do too. Um, when I bought this, I was immediately taken back to the 90s when Andrew was in first or second grade. I had a friend who introduced me to something called a dipping pizza. And you would buy this dipping, and it wasn't dipping, it was dipping, D I P P I N, dipping pizza. You would buy it in the frozen department at Kroger. It was in a regular box, just like this. You would take it out and you would put it on the baking sheet, just like we did. And it had sauce in the middle. And I'm thinking you would remove you the, the sauce, sauce out of the before baking. Or yeah, but it was a ring, and it was bigger than this one actually. It was I think. A little bit bigger. Um, but I, I, I have scoured the internet. There are pictures of uh, dipping pizzas. 
Um, as a matter of fact, I said something on Facebook and Instagram about how I couldn't remember the name of the dipping pizza, and John uh, replied back. He came up with the same picture that Kevin and I found on the internet, which is it's a black box, and it says dipping pizza yeah. or something like that. And but, that may or may not be the one we're talking about because we neither one of us are one hundred percent sure about. No, what the box it's like about. I told Kevin. I said I really don't think that was the same brand. Although that's great that that John found that. Um, but I don't think that's the same brand because when you're used to buying something and seeing something all the time, usually if you see it again after all those years, you're like, wow, I remember that. So I don't think that was the exact same one, but that is the same concept. So I thought when we saw the, uh, these at Aldi, there's this one and there's, I think, a Supreme that we're going to be reviewing too. Um, it, I thought it was going to be that dipping pizza kind of thing where you got a, a little... Um, bowl of uh, mozzarella or not mozzarella of uh, marinara. marinara sauce thank you one of those m words and you could dip your pizza in it so this is different this it, is more like what you would get it like this is uh, more like a sandwich like a stromboli or something yes uh, uh, or what, is, what is that place in the mall that i love sabaro sparrow yes this Sparrow's. is good i um it's not as hot as I would have liked to have been. Even no. though I was left in there 40 minutes, it's just it's just warm. It's it, really not hot. Yes, I agree. There's no sauce in there, and there's no dipping stuff for a sauce. So you literally just have pepperoni, cheese, and bread. Um, but I do like the flavor. It has a little bit of a garlicky flavor. I wish the pepperoni was a little more spicy. The mm -hmm. cheese, if you type just the cheese, mm -hmm. it has a grainy texture to it. Oh, does it? Um, but overall, it's good. It's got a good flavor to it. I agree with Kevin. Kevin and I are particular when it comes to the temperature of our food. And when we get a pizza especially, we want it to be hot. I want it to be very, very hot. So, after having it in the oven for 40 minutes, this is not hot enough for us. No. I so, wonder, you probably could have stuck it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. It would have crisped up in the oven and then afterwards stick it in the microwave or maybe before stick it in the microwave and then give it a leg up in the in the oven right. that might be an idea um i don't know I, I like the flavor the pepperoni isn't it doesn't have any spiciness yeah it's just uh, it, it's just pepperoni so like if you do go to like sparrow in the mall their pepperoni has a spiciness to it mm -hmm. um this does not have that but i do think that it will appeal to more people probably yeah, because it's probably not right. a spicy pepperoni i think um, it's definitely worth trying i think your kids would like it it's not one your adults would like it <laughs> it's not one that we would probably buy again no there's other pizzas that i would rather have than this i would honestly i would just soon have a pepperoni pizza yeah it's a regular pizza right i would uh, yeah because there is no nothing to dip it, it, there's nothing that makes this any more special than a pizza right. except for uh you're getting more crust right it's just it's actually lacking some of the things you would get on a pizza exactly exactly so if they, i love the crust the if crust they had really added good. a cup of marinara it would have made it better it would have made it better yeah. and you I could still don't think that the flavor marinara would have up in the microwave or something yeah. like that i still and, don't think the flavor would have been quite as good but it still would have been better right the dipping pizzas that we had back in the 90s had a, a buttery they were more buttery and garlicky, and garlicky. Yeah. yes so this is different i still think it's good it was only five dollars oh, definitely um, worth buying and trying yeah so it's worth a try uh, but it, it's just not something we'll get over and over again so if i was going to rate it on a scale of one to five i would probably give three. it yeah probably a three yeah, yeah. it's just an average it's very average every day yeah whatever not bad but not not a five at all so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.